Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome back to another video. What's going on guys? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Ah, uh, my eye is burning. <laughs> That might be the weirdest introduction to a video that I've ever done. Okay, anyway, as you saw by the title in the video, I'm going to be giving you guys my top 10 best romantic movies, in my opinion. If you guys are looking for some, I love romantic or romance, for lack of better words. I am all for it. I'm on it. I have seen so many like my favorite thing ever so i'm not ranking them like if i'm saying them like from whatever in this order it's not in a specific order at all i am talking a lot anyways the first movie that i recommend to you guys is the last song if you guys have not seen it oddly enough i'm saying this as my first one but this is my all-time favorite movie ever the actors that play the main characters the stars of the movie are miley cyrus and liam hemsworth it's a very sad movie but it also just overall so miley cyrus which plays ronnie comes into town uh to visit her father with along with her little brother jonah they come to go uh, visit their father for the summer and she is um basically going through some really tough times uh she had been for a while her father lives in like a beachy area she has a really tough relationship with her father because uh he left I'm pretty sure the first day that she gets there, she wanders off uh, to the beach. There's a volleyball game a tournament going on. She runs into Will. I'm not going to say how because, you know, that's just going to ruin the vibe. She meets a new friend. That friend betrays her. And a very, very, very traumatic um, experience comes her way. And that changes her, her, pers her perspective on everything. We just have to watch and see what happens. All right, my next one is The Kissing Booth. I know, I know, I know, most of you guys have already seen it, but you know what? It's in my top 10 best because I am obsessed with this movie series. So basically, if you have not watched this movie, the main characters of the show are Elle Evans, obviously, which is what the movie is basically surrounded by her. Um, story which is accompanied along with her bestie she was born with him leaflin his best friends create a rule list one of the rules is siblings are completely off limits which l evans was completely fine with until she grows up hormones kick in all that other stuff in comes noah flynn older brother of lee flynn and basically they just i, I just can't really say anything because it'll 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 ruin that spark that moment that you watch it so go watch it on to the next onward by the way, the last song you can find on Disney Plus, uh, Kissing Booth, Netflix. So the next movie is Falling In Love. And in is like an inn, like a hotel or a motel or whatever. I adored this movie. At first, I didn't want to watch it at all. I was completely avoiding it. And then I was like, you know what, what the heck, let me just watch it. And I kid you not, I regret not watching it sooner. It was very unexpected, the way that the storyline was laid out. The main character that the story is following along is Gabriella. And um, she comes into this new town because she won a free hotel, small town <laughs> Uh, because nobody would get nobody but nobody would buy it you know like it was it was a you know, it was something that you weren't expecting to say the least uh she got there she was like honey what is this her love interest in the movie is uh jake taylor he is Mighty fun. <laughs> he is the town's handyman. The trailer shows a lot more than what I'm uh, explaining, but I'm just giving like a little lowdown. I'm not trying to give you the whole trailer. You can find this on Netflix. Next movie is The Half of It. 
It is a roller coaster to say the least. So the main character, Ellie, uh, is a very introvert, shy uh, person and um, just keeps to herself, uh, never really talks to anybody, doesn't really have any friends. This other character named Paul, um, he, I wouldn't say he's, a very introverted guy. There is a new character, a new person that comes into their school, their town, whatever. Her name is Aster. Paul does not know how to communicate uh, to girls and um, he took a fancy to Aster. You know, like it was a little you cute kind of thing, you know? He doesn't really know how to approach her, how to go about it. Um, so he tries to talk to Ellie. He tries to slowly gain her confidence, slowly wiggle his way into her trust. And he asks her for help, but there's a little bit of turn of events uh, in the movie. Watch it, it's a, it's a little bit of a, whoa. So the next one is The Night Before Christmas, Night as in Knight in Shining Armor. Vanessa Hudgens is in this movie. Um, she plays Brooke. She longs for that fairy tale kind of love. It's like a Christmas miracle. She's a teacher. She doesn't really have, she hasn't really had that kind of connection with somebody. That was a very, very odd way to explain it. But Sir Cole is the knight in shining armor that comes into her life one way in which you have to watch to find out. So the next movie um, is Napoli Ever After. I love this movie because the main character's name is Violet. It's not just her romance life, uh, trying to find a man that love her for who she is. Um, but it's also falling in love with herself. A lot of people can relate to uh, Violet. Her journey to just figuring out um, who she is and what she wants to become and um, how she wants to live her life. Um, you can find this movie on Netflix. The next movie is I Still Believe. Um, you can find this movie on Hulu. So the main characters of this movie are Jeremy and Melissa. Here we go into the movie through Jeremy's perspective. He's going into college. He loves music. His music is literally a, 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 part, of, a part of his soul. He just needs to find what kind of message does he want to spread. He looks up to a certain um, artist in this movie. He is a Christian. I completely and utterly am in love with this movie. Basically it was love at first sight. He's like looking for her but at the same time they just like keep bumping into each other, running into each other, sort of like it was destiny. She helped him uh, realize what kind of message he wanted to spread. He was able to touch and make every single person in that arena or room or whatever um, feel that song. Not only that song, but what the song is actually about. It is based on a true story. All right, moving on. Let's get over the sappy stuff. Um, next up in my list is The Duff. I'm pretty sure most people have watched this, but The Duff is hilarious. I love this movie. I have watched this movie so many times, mainly because I love the actor. <laughs> that is the love interest. This one is with Robbie Amell. I don't know if you guys know him, but this is him. The main character of this movie is Bianca. We follow Bianca and her story. Um, her life essentially that gets explained, you know, like who are her friends, you know, what kind of person person she is. Her friends are Casey and Jess. Essentially, the point of the movie is that uh, her two friends are super hot and it's what everybody tries to get at. She's the duff, the designated ugly fat friend. Wesley is her best friend. Uh, she grew up with him. Um, they're friends, they're not friends, they're not friends. But as Wesley would describe Dove, you don't necessarily have to be fat or ugly. It's just, is an acronym if you just are. 
Designated ugly fat friend. The duff doesn't always have to be some heinous beast, all right? You're the person that everybody goes to to get at your friends. You're the approachable one. She goes through a life crisis, basically, because Wesley would call her that. I'm gonna kick my friends to the curb because I don't wanna be a duff from Hulu. Go watch it. Okay, this next one, I don't know why I love it. And it's friends with benefits. You know what a friends with benefits relationship is. I watched it on Netflix. The last movie that I am recommending is The Holiday Calendar. You can find it on Netflix. It was beautiful. I love this movie not only because the Queen Cat Graham is the main character, plays the main character in this. I don't know, Bonnie Bennett didn't get her happy ending, but in this she certain she most certainly does. She plays Abby in this movie and um she is a photographer and um you know it's christmas time and uh she goes back home to grandpa who gives her this special calendar there's this person whom we call josh zabby and josh were best friends when they were little she tries to get rid of this calendar for whatever reason but you know the calendar is making her life better anyways that was the last movie um i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did please give it a big thumbs up